Hello, Jason here. And in today's live broadcast, I'm going to answer a very interesting question, which is, what is a domestic wastewater treatment plant? All right, so how does a wastewater treatment plant or a sewage treatment plant differ from a septic tank? Well, let me show you. Have a look at this. Okay, so here we've got a house in the countryside. It's a beautiful uh, <laughs> blue day, a sunny day with blue sky, as you can see. So you'll notice here on the lawn, right, is a strange looking device. It's got a green lid and a pipe sticking out into the river or the watercourse. So, and there you can see it in front of the house. So what is this strange device here? Well, let me take the grass away and I will show you. Okay, so here we go. This is what it looks like from um, a different angle. So this is called a domestic sewage treatment plant or um, a domestic wastewater plant, whatever one you want to call it. It basically amounts to the same thing. So let me show you how these things work and how they differ from a septic tank. So let's just take the um, the front the cover off the front of the tank. So now this is interesting because inside here, all right, you'll notice that it's got quite a bit of bits and bobs is the best way to describe it. So let's zoom in here. So number one, right at the top, you've got um, here we go. If I zoom into here, this is called a compressor. Now you can see the wires here coming into it, so it's electrical. Then if we go move it down, now here you can see this brown stuff, that's the poo and the horrible wastewater that comes from your house. And you can see below it, it's got all these cogs. And then below that, you've got a compartment here. We'll call this compartment one. And here you've got compartment two. And you've got some pipes. And here we've got some motors and some cogs and some belts and stuff like that so now if i zoom out and i'll show you what's happening here oh yeah and most importantly look at this outside here you've got a watercourse or a river or a stream so let me show you how this works all right it's pretty simple you basically have a bath or you flush the loo or you empty your sink water you dishwasher water whatever once you've done that then it goes straight into the treatment plant here. Oops, well, it did do, oh, where has it gone? All right, forgive me for my technical error there, but that's what you get with these live videos. So that water will come into here like so, and then it will fill up the first compartment. So when it fills up the first compartment, it will look something like this, uh, if I can find it. Um, no, that's not the one. Oh, here we go. There we go. So it will fill the first compartment up like so. So it's as simple as that. Poo water goes in and poo water fills the first compartment. Now, what's interesting is as the poo comes in, right, you see these kind of cogs here. They will start turning round like so. And this causes um, an aerobic process. So as the cogs go round, it produces oxygen and that oxygen permeates all the horrible, stinky, smelly poo water. But what it does is this. It allows the bacteria to suddenly become energized and like fills them full of energy and it makes them really hungry. Right. And what happens is as these cogs are turning, the bacteria really get to work quickly on the poo and the wee in that first um compartment there it then turns right it then turns that poo water into clean water and you can see that poo uh, that clean water there in the bottom right hand of your screen now what happens then you've got these you've got these uh, pipes here can you see these pipes now these pipes draw and suck the water up all right and what they do they suck it up through the orange pipe here and that orange pipe guess what it leads to the water here all right so let me turn around that and so what happens is you get 
horrible, filthy poo water going in, and then you get lovely, clean water coming out. Look at that. So that's basically how a sewage treatment plant works. And sewage treatment plants are the only legal, they're the only legal um, systems, sewage systems that you can put in to discharge into a river or a stream or a brook or a, di di uh, or a dry ditch. So um, there's three types of treatment plants you can buy. There are septic tank converters, so they kind of bolt onto your existing septic tank and they do the same as what I've just shown you there. You can get an electrical sewage treatment plant, which is the one I'm showing you here, or you can get a non-electrical system. Um, just really simply, the difference between the two is that the um, electrical ones um, basically cost, I don't know, anywhere from a thousand um, pound a, a year to run, whereas the non-electric ones, they haven't got any moving parts or um, don't need any electricity to run them, so they don't cost anything to run. And they're, they're becoming um, the most popular kind of sewage systems in the UK at the moment. But there you go. So I thought I'd just show you, give you a quick introduction into how... Um, into what well, I suppose first of all what a sewage treatment plant is and number two <laughs> how a sewage treatment plant works so next time you're on the internet and you see um, the term sewage treatment plant or domestic wastewater treatment plant that's basically what they are and that's how they work so listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today if you'd like to see more free videos then you've got two options. You can type in Septic Tank TV and go and visit my Septic Tank uh, website. There's lots of free videos on there, free help and advice. I even sell some non-electric treatment plants. Or if you go to type in Septic Tank TV into Google, you'll see my YouTube channel there. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you'll be in with a chance to win a free non-electrical sewage treatment plant so listen you stay safe you take care and i'll speak to you soon for more information just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice